This is an incredible story, and I'm going to feel bad for Baker Mayfield. 2018, Baker Mayfield comes in the league. And 2018 to 2023, the dude's been in the NFL. He wants to know where $12 million of his dollars is. Okay, that's enough. we've heard that before, right? This goes back to Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's agent and all kind of crap. Uh, this, this goes way back, agents and people taking players' money. But this is different. Why is this different, you say? Because the financial group is Baker Mayfield's dad. The group is Baker Mayfield's family-owned investment business. Now, I'm going to say that again. His own family. Baker Mayfield and his wife are searching for $12 million. And he's in a legal battle. For $12 million with his family, his father, James, it's called Camwood Capital Management Group, LLC, and Camwood Ventures, LP. Apparently, what they want is they want the financial records turned over. They're not saying it was stolen. What they're saying is we want to see our records. So they can figure out what has happened to roughly $12 million that was invested in this company. They don't know, according to the Mayfields, I want to get this right, if their money has been properly and competently invested, has been stolen, or otherwise misappropriated, or something in between. Apparently, this is a petition, not a lawsuit, but a petition oftentimes leads to a lawsuit. I just want you to think about this. All he's asking for is his records going back to 2018. Now, think about this. I'm reading this, okay? And I don't know Cam Wood. I don't want to know Cam Wood. But just the fact that this is in print, that this is on Twitter, this is on social media, it's devastating, if not crippling, if not destroying James Mayfield's business. Would you want to invest with a company that apparently, at least to a certain degree, has misrepresented or at least can't find $12 million of his own son? I wouldn't. Most wouldn't. See, this becomes a caricature. This becomes who you are. Who is Cam Wood? Well, they're the guys that lost Baker Mayfield's money. You can't, you can't survive this as a business. I mean, maybe you have such long-term investors that you can't, I, I don't know. But you can't survive it. There's no way. Think about it. Mm, man. Hey, let's all come over for Thanksgiving. Yo, Pops. I got 12 mil with you. Any idea? Nah, I don't want to talk about it. No, 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 Pops. I got 12 million somewhere here. I gave it to you. Just show me. Eh, we're good. We're not good, Pops. Come on. What's going on? Serious business. Can you imagine? I can't. Baker Mayfield is fighting Kyle Trask for the starting job in Miami. All while it looks like he's mad at his family. He's trying to dig up $12 million here. What's going on with Baker Mayfield and the fish or in the bucks? Yeah, so look, if I was uh, unaware of what happened to $12 million of mine, uh, I'd like to know where they were as well. So he's doing his due diligence legally. I'm sure he's not doing it. His representatives are doing it. And it just so happens that it involves family. Eesh. <laughs> and so uh, he's, he's doing that. But he's got more pressing issues in that he needs to beat out Kyle Trask, who, by the way, isn't that good. It shouldn't be this close. Oh. It shouldn't be a thing. I mean, Baker Mayfield has, you know, has started a lot of games in the NFL, has a lot of experience, has a has a huge reservoir of experience advantage over Kyle Trask. And yet Todd Bowles, the head coach, con- continues to say that it's still a competition. My guess is, and my educated guess at that is that Baker Mayfield will be the starter week one. 
Yeah, and, you know, I would have thought that it was just a formality. Is Baker Mayfield any good? Why do I feel like Baker Mayfield is better or should be better than Kyle Trask, as you just said? But I also feel like Baker Mayfield wasn't a bad get for the Bucs, but maybe not if this is what's going to happen. Yeah, Baker Mayfield should be better than Baker Mayfield, okay? Uh, he was the first overall pick in the 2018 draft. Right. Had a, you know, not a terrible rookie season, a rookie season that you might expect of any rookie quarterback. And followed that up with eventually getting the, the Browns into the playoff one year. But the last couple of years have been a kind of a disaster, really. Uh, he got replaced in Cleveland by Deshaun Watson, and he got all up in his feelings about that when it was – from a pure football standpoint, whatever you think about Deshaun Watson, whatever you think about that contract, Deshaun Watson is 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 an upgrade over Baker Mayfield. Number two, he goes to Carolina, beats out Sam Darnold for the starting job, did it within a span of two weeks. So what is this Kyle Trask uh, wrestling match that he's into? But nonetheless... In Carolina, he was a disappointment and couldn't last the season. He goes to the Los Angeles Rams, and they kind of, you know, use him up, and they wanted him back, but he wanted a chance to start, and here he is with the with the Bucks. I got to say this about the Bucks: If they can get their offensive line straight, if they can figure out whether Ryan Jensen is an issue or not, and right now he is the starting center, they should have a pretty decent team. Their problem is the starting quarterback who happens to be and will happen to be Maker, Baker Mayfield. So a hey, Baker, the last starting quarterback for the Tampa Bay Bucks, took him to the Super Bowl and then went to the playoffs a couple of years in a row. So what do you got, brother? Because this is your last chance to start in the NFL. Right, and that's the thing. The other, the other part is what you just said. You're, you're, you're p- replacing Tom Brady not only in the eyes of the fans, but in that building with players that played with the greatest of all time. That's a little bit added. You can't go BS your way through this because people have seen how the greatest reacts and acts, no matter whether it's in the morning, in the afternoon, at night. They saw greatness in that building in Mayfield. You can't BS your way through that with those guys. But – uh, let, let's be honest. If Tom Brady uh, woke up with a wild hair idea this morning, having not, you know, thrown a football in anger in, I don't know, six, seven months and decided, I want to come back and play football, he would be a better quarterback than Baker Mayfield, who's been working off season, uh, yeah. who's been in training camp and playing in preseason games. So that is just a fact. 40, 45, 46-year-old Tom Brady, better than Baker Mayfield in his prime. The idea for Baker Mayfield on a one-year contract is don't screw it up. It's not that hard. My God, you got Mike Evans. <laughs> you got Chris Godwin. Don't screw it up, dude. That defense is good. The the division is bad. Just don't screw it up. 